Suppose the utility function for the consumer takes one of the following forms. We are given the three different types of utility functions. First is u is equal to 50x plus uh, 20y where x and y are the two goods and u is the utility. Second is 20x plus 50y. Third is 80x plus 40y. Budget of the consumer is 10,000 rupees. Price of good x is given as 50 rupees and price of good y is 20 rupees. Determine the possibility of determination of equilibrium basket in each case using diagram and comment on the nature of solution. We have to determine the equilibrium basket in this case and show graphically what would be uh, the nature of the solution. Okay, the question uh, is about uh, finding the uh, optimal bundle here. So first of all, uh, we will see what we will take the first case. Let us say take the first case we are given the utility u is equal to 50x uh, plus 20y okay what is price price of x is given as 50 price of y is given as 20 and income let us say we denoted by m is given as 10,000 okay now what is the utility maximizing condition that is when does the consumer uh, maximize its satisfaction okay we have the tangency condition for this that means when the slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the budget line we would have the optimal bundle that is optimal condition is optimal uh, condition requires optimal a uh, solution rather requires requires that uh, i will write here a uh, slope of indifference curve should be equal to a uh, slope of budget line okay now what is the slope of indifference curve slope of indifference curve is simply the ratio of marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y and it should be equal to the slope of budget line what is the slope of budget line it is simply the ratio of the prices that is prior price of x our price of y would give us the slope of the budget line okay so this is our tangency condition we call it the tangency condition that is when the indifference curve is tangent to our budget line we will get the optimal solution okay so let us uh, try to work out what could be the possible solution in this case now what is the marginal utility of x marginal utility of x for uh, the first part is we have to uh, differentiate uh, this utility function with respect to x the derivative of x is one okay since in the second uh, term no x is involved so derivative is here zero so marginal utility of x would be equal to 50 into 1 that is marginal utility of x is equal to 50 marginal utility of y similarly differentiating this time with respect to y we will get uh, the derivative of y is 1 so we will get here 20 okay since no y is involved in the first term it is derivative would be 0 that is uh, what is our price p of x is uh, 50 so I will write here 50 and P of Y is equal to 20 now using this we can see here marginal utility of X our marginal utility of Y is equal to 50 divided by 20 okay or we get 5 by 2 also ratio of prices is PX our PY is equal to 50 over 20 which is equal to uh, 5 by 2 which comes out to be 2.5 and here we have 2.5 so here we can see uh, the slope of the budget line coincides uh, with the slope of the indifference curve so this means we have a case of perfect substitute okay in this case what would be our graph let us take this on this axis we write the units of x and we have units of y here what is the slope of uh, our um, slope of our uh, indif 
indefinite curve and slope of budget line we will see so first i will try take the slope of budget line let us say it is 2.5 its slope is 2.5 this is our budget line okay budget line and what is the slope of our uh, indifference curve which is this very marginal utility of x or marginal utility of y it is also 2.5 that means in this case these two uh, lines coincide okay now what would be the optimal solution in this case since both uh, the lines coincide with each other we would have infinitely many possible solutions that is we can get uh, we can get uh, an interior solution uh, interior solution or we can also get the corner solution okay we can also get the corner solution okay now what is meant by the corner solution corner solution is simply when consumer is unwilling or unable to make a trade-off between the goods in the corner solution consumer will buy uh, all of you uh, one good and none of the other good but in this case the optimal condition could be any uh, any combination because these two lines coincide with each other so here we can see uh, this condition is tangency condition holds, but since they coincide with each other so we would have the infinitely many solutions uh, in the normal cases what would he we, would we have we have that let us say this would have been our budget line and this would have been our indefinite curve okay in this case there could be only one optimal solution because this indifference curve is uh, tangent to this budget line okay in this case we could have only one solution but since here both the indifference curve and the budget line coincide with each other we would have a whole range of solutions in this case okay i hope i am making myself uh, clear up to this point now coming to the next part let me rub this out So we have the next uh, utility let me rub this utility function in this case we have utility function is given as u is equal to 20x uh, plus 50y okay so using the same condition that is tangency condition what is our marginal utility of x this time marginal utility of x differentiating with respect to x we will get 20 marginal uh, utility of y differentiating this utility function with respect to y we will get 50 and price of x and price of y that is same price of x is equal to 50 price of y is equal to 20 now here marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y so let us say this 2 and uh, 0 0 gets cancelled we have 2 divided by 5 and px our py is equal to 50 divided by 20 which comes out to be 2.5 and here we have 0 0.2 okay now what is here we can clearly see that the marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y the slope of the indifference curve is less than the ratio of prices because zero sorry it is here 0 0.4 uh, since 0 0.4 is less than 2.5 so this tangency condition does not hold here so this is an exception here also because uh, our optimal solution would have been at a point where the where our budget line would have been rather while our uh, indifference curve would have been tangent to the budget line okay at this point marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y should be equal to price of x our price of y but this condition is not holding here that means graphically if we can uh, uh, grab this out let us say we have units of x here units of y here what is our budget line the slope of budget line is 
let us say this is 2.5 here okay and what is the slope of uh, our indifference curve in this case it is 0 0.4 it would be flatter uh, than the slope of the budget line let us say our uh, let me use another color let us say this is 0 0.4 okay let us say this is first indifference curve with slope 0 0.4 and consumer will always try to reach highest possible indifference curve okay let us say this is second when we shift we shift to parallel okay because the sl slope will will, uh, will remain same then if we go parallel if not then the slope will get uh, slope will not will be same so the slope of these three red lines is same and similarly if we try to go to the higher uh, higher higher indifference curve here we can see we can go here or we can go here okay now in this case what we can see the consumers endeavor is always to reach the highest possible indifference curve okay when highest indifference curve attainable is not tangent to the budget line we have a corner solution so consumer will not try to uh, uh, consume the, on this very indifference curve because there is under consumption. That is corners, uh, uh, let us say this is IC1. IC1 would not be the solution as it does not utilize the entire budget. The inter, entire budget is being shown by this uh, green coloring. Similarly, IC2 would not be the optimal solution because uh, entire budget is not exhausted similarly ic3 cannot be the optimal solution though it intersects but still there is the uh, the budget has not been utilized uh, fully similarly this cannot be the solution also here also the budget is not fully utilized and here we can see only this very last let us say this is ic5 okay this ic5 okay this is the highest possible indifference curve which is attainable uh, with the given budget that means ic for you is the corner solution as as this is the highest possible indifference curve which intersects the budget line at y axis okay if we would have another uh, indifference curve let us say the consumer would like to allowed to have this very ic6 but his budget will not allow him to go there only possible is that very point okay because this is the highest indifference curve attainable with the given budget because it intersects though it is not tangent it intersects the budget line at this corner so we can say that consumer in this case will buy all of y and none of none of x so we have a corner solution and what would be the optimal bundle that's m divided by price of y that means optimal bundle would be optimal bundle would be equal to zero of x and m divided by price of y that means we have zero of x now what is the budget budget is ten thousand divided what is the price of y price of y was 20 so we have two uh, thousand divided by two that is equal to 500 that means consumer will buy zero of good x and 500 units of good y that would be the uh, corner solution in this case so uh, one question that might uh, arise here why do we have the corner solution so these are the three perfect substitute utility functions so uh, consumer the corner solution will arrive when the consumer is only uh, unwilling or unable to make a trade-off between the two goods let us say we have two goods we have ordinary watch ordinary watch and rolex watch 
I know I am giving the paired example of perfect substitutes. Let us say this is Rolex watch. Using ordinary watch or Rolex watch will give the consumer same level of utility. Obviously, uh, we use the watches only for being acquainted what is the time okay so both will satisfy its uh, uh, its utility whether the consumer will uh, be having an ordinary watch or rolex watch let us say the uh, let us say um, the price of the ordinary watch is 1000 okay and let us say the rolex watch it is prices let us say it is 10 lakh okay so both watches are perfect substitutes but consumer will say why should i go for the uh, rolex watch when its substitute is very cheap okay in this case we would have a corner solution that means when the price of the substitute is too high and consumer goes for the cheaper one in that case we would have a corner solution because ordinary watch it rolex watch which i assume they are the perfect substitutes okay and since rolex watch is uh, very much uh, higher in price than the ordinary watch the consumer will uh, definitely go for the ordinary watch because both of these are giving him the same certification in this case we would have a corner solution okay i'm i hope i am making myself clear uh, with this uh, brute example let's take the last uh, utility function and see what could be the possible solution now we have the last utility function we have u is equal to 80x uh, plus 40y same condition is here so marginal utility of x sorry marginal utility of x would be 80 here differentiating with respect to x will give us the marginal utility and marginal utility of y is 40 price of x and price of y are same here we can also see if we just cancel these zeros we will get 8 divided by 4 here we will get so i will write here marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y will equal to 8 by 4 which is 2 price of x our price of y is equal to 5 over 2 which is equal to 2.5 okay this is our this would be our budget line this is our indifference curve okay i see here we can also see the marginal utility of x our marginal utility of y is less than uh, price of x our price of y that means uh, the slope of the indifference curve is less than the slope of the budget line and we can see here let us say this is x this is our y slope of the budget line is 2.5 let me draw it like this let us say this is 2.5 and the slope of uh, the indifference curve is 2 that means it is flatter than the budget line uh, let us draw like this okay this is 2 so this is first indifference curve consumer will try to attain the highest possible indifference curve let us say this is second indifference curve this is third indifference curve similarly we would have this very indifference curve and lastly let us say we have this very indifference curve okay in this case also as in the utility maximization consumer will try to reach the highest possible indifference curve both ic1 ic2 and ic3 consumer will try to reach the highest possible indifference curves as all these three uh, uh, indifference curves cannot be the solution because the consumer is not utilizing his entire budget and we have ic let us say this is ic4 at the ic4 we can see that utility is maximized at this point where the budget line this is our budget line intersects 
the highest attainable indifference curve this could be the uh, sorry the corner solution in this case also the example is same the ordinary watch and rolex watch if we assume they are the perfect substitutes okay in this case consumer let me this point will be m our price of y and in this case also consumer will purchase by all of good y and none of good x okay so what would be the optimal bundle uh, bundle here our optimal bundle would be optimal bundle would be zero of x and all of y okay so zero m divided by price of y let us say what is our m one hundred ten thousand ten thousand what is the price of y price of y is 20 and we will get the same answer that is 0 and 500 that means consumer will uh, consume 500 uh, units of good y and 0 units of good x i hope i make myself clear if there are some mistakes in uh, this video i would like love to be rectified okay thank you